In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the Pythagorean identity to actually derive even more trigonometric identities. So recall that the Pythagorean identity states that cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta equals 1 for all values of theta. And it's important to point out that this right here, cosine squared of theta, is really just a convenient way of writing cosine of theta squared. So just keep in mind that when we write cosine squared of theta, we're really saying cosine of theta squared. It's just a little easier to write cosine squared of theta. So what if we took this equation here and we divided both sides of that by cosine squared of theta? Let's go ahead and see what happens. So if we divide both sides by cosine squared of theta, then we should have cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta, all divided by cosine squared of theta. And then that's going to be equal to 1 divided by cosine squared of theta. Then if we look at this left-hand side, we can split that out to cosine squared of theta divided by cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta divided by cosine squared of theta. And then that's going to be equal to 1 divided by cosine squared of theta. So we should notice that in this first fraction here, that's the numerator and denominator are going to cancel out. So we should have that being equal to 1. So we can write this one as 1. And then let's rewrite this second one a little bit. So we know that sine squared of theta is really sine of theta squared. Cosine squared of theta is really cosine of theta squared. So we could actually write that as sine of theta divided by cosine of theta, and then that whole fraction is going to be squared. So if we distribute that fraction in, we're going to square the numerator, we're going to square the denominator, and we're going to end up with sine squared of theta divided by cosine squared of theta. And in a similar way, we're going to do the same thing on the right hand side. We can think of 1 as 1 squared. 1 times 1 is just 1. So we could rewrite that as 1 divided by cosine of theta. And then we square that whole fraction. So just imagine taking the squared into the numerator and denominator, we should get the same thing there. So we can simplify a little bit. We know that sine of theta divided by cosine of theta, that's just equal to tangent of theta. And one divided by cosine of theta, that's just equal to secant of theta. So if we fill in the rest of this, we have one plus, so that's tangent of theta squared, and then that's going to be equal to secant of theta squared like that. So now this looks pretty simplified. We end up with 1 plus, we can simplify this a little bit or just kind of erase some of the parentheses, right? 1 plus tangent squared of theta equals secant squared of theta. So this is another identity deriving from the Pythagorean identity. We just divided both sides by cosine squared of theta. Now let's do a similar thing. So let's rewrite the Pythagorean identity. Cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta is equal to 1. But this time, let's divide both sides of this identity by sine squared of theta. So if we do that, I'm just going to do that right here. We have that side divided by sine squared of theta is equal to 1 divided by sine squared of theta. So now we'll begin simplifying a little bit. This ends up being cosine squared of theta divided by sine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta divided by sine squared of theta is equal to one divided by sine squared of theta. So we're gonna notice that this guy looks pretty nice. We're gonna divide, um, we'll just cancel out the numerator and denominator, that becomes one so that becomes a one. And then cosine squared of theta divided by sine squared of theta, we can actually write that as cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. And then that whole fraction squared. So we have that plus one is equal to, and we can do the same thing over here. We have one divided by sine of theta, and then we're gonna square that thing too. So then we see that we have a little simplification. Cosine of theta divided by sine of theta is actually cotangent of theta. So we have cotangent of theta squared plus a one is equal to, and then one divided by sine of theta is just cosecant of theta. So we're gonna have cosecant of theta squared. 
And then we can um, pretty this up a little bit and write cotangent squared of theta plus one is equal to cosecant squared of theta. So this is another identity deriving from the Pythagorean identity.